also does say in the New Testament. It does also say in the New Testament. And the swan, though he divideth the book, and he cloven for it, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, That's and their carcass, and their carcass shall ye not touch. They are. That's why I see our people, a lot of ours, they suffer from gross obesity. One of the main reasons because they eat all these unhealthy, unclean foods like pork, and then that that causes high cholesterol, high blood pressure, everything. You know what I mean? Here's a reason why he made it a law. Right. Matthew 5, 17. Think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. I have not come to destroy it, but to fulfill it. Bring that sense to to heaven, earth past, one day, earth and heaven. Bring that one, one jot, one tittle, shall no wise pass from the, from the wall to all the fulfill. One tittle. Keep going. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments. Whosoever shall break one of the least commandments. It shall, shall teach me, so he shall be called the least of the kingdoms. Whosoever shall do and teach them. Same shall be called great. So, I mean, like, they can't always keep all these laws in the Old Testament perfect, right? This is one. Then the Old Testament said don't commit well, adultery. What he said is be perfect, because I am perfect. You know, right. He's saying try our best. mind to do right. Because your, your mind wants to do right, but your body to wants right. to do something else. Exactly. Your flesh wants to do something else. That's the point to the end of the fight. I get that too. I've done things intentionally knowing that it was wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And, and for that, I'm guilty of that. You can have But you admit in your mind, though. But yeah. we all do that. You admit in your mind, though. He must have been the grace of God. But see, that's why God gives his grace. And he brings us up as children. He knows that my children, they're going to do what I tell them not to do sometimes. I spank them. Get them corrected. We get spanked now. And then guess what? If I need to do it again, I'm gonna do it again. A little harder. It's gonna get a little harder every time. Get a little harder every time. Until you just say, forget it. I, I give that up. I ain't taking that. Really? I ain't taking that whooping no more. I ain't taking that up. To that missile. And, and see that? I mean, but that's perfect. That's perfect. Well, I agree. That's perfect. Yeah. Okay, let me read this. This is Luke 6 and 46. And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Yeah, that, that's a lot of people, bro. Cause they think they, they, they take that too long. They're like, it's only too long. They, they'll take that and run with it. You know what I mean? Like, it's only too. Cause you know how the Lord said, uh, yeah. "Love the Lord that God and to love their brothers as so, And people take that, and then, but they don't understand that. Me and my brother was created in the image of God. Right. So if I hate my brother, I hate the image of the Most High God. That's true. That's true. That's what they don't understand. Yeah. See, now what they did during slavery is they took and made us less than human beings so they didn't have to bear that guilt mentally. When in actuality, that's one of the main things. guilt is there. That's why they took us you know, from, from, uh, from being indentured servants to becoming chattels of property. They made us less than humans. They made us like they were indentured servants. Yeah, we yeah, were yeah, for, yeah, Jamestown also all services let like, go after on the seventh year. Just like the scripture said. And they, and they made it they, they took it from a matter of fact and made it primo de jour, a matter yeah. of law. They yeah. signed it into law that African Americans were not their slaves were not humans. They were one third of them, right? Three fifths. Or three fifths of them. You're right. You're right. You know, so I got to go to uh, I have to love my brother like I love myself because if, if, if we all come from God and go through God and back to God, then you are created in His image. You were created in His image. And I have to love everything about you. I mean, not because I have to, but because that's what I do. If love is in me. That's just natural. So what Jesus is saying is that the most important thing is that you love. You know what I mean? So if, if you have love in you, you're going to be corrected and to be perfect. Your mind is going to be made made to fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. But if you love, then all the commandments will be made perfect in you. Yeah, it's balance. It's a balance. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Well, what is hate? Hate is, hate is spawned from fear. Or really, what is really what, what hate? Hate is spawned from fear. Hate is casting away. 
get away from me. I hate that. See, because the Lord is not capable of hating, but it says the Lord hates, right? It is written that the Lord hates. And because we couldn't how we couldn't translate what it was really trying to say in the Bible, in the English language. What it was saying is that the Lord gets these actions away from him. It gets that action away from him. He cannot look upon sin, right? He cannot show his face upon sin. So he gets that action away from him. There's seven things that he hates or he tests and seven things that he hates. What he does hate, he gets away from him. You know what I mean? I, what, what did you do about it? I had a script. I had a precept for what he was just talking about. So, so in the end, everything that does not have love in it, he will cast away. Sirach 12, 6, 44 to most high. Hey, what, what time? Has anybody got time? It is 549. 549. Uh, 49. 549. Uh, 49. Uh, 49. Uh, 49. Uh, 49. Uh, 49. It just means what? That's an act of war. <laughs> That's an act of war. All right, and what's that scripture of Revelation? He did say he hates that one, uh, Nicolaitis. Oh, yeah, he hates it. Yeah, yeah. Nicolaitis, hold on. Yeah. Hey, but, but, guess what? <laughs> Here's another thing. It's funny. It is a balance, I'm though. Glad, a balance. I'm glad that the Spirit brought that yeah. out your mouth. The Nicolaitis, right? He hates the deeds of the Nicolaitis. Yeah. Well, going back to the number 666, right? Yeah coming out to be 4% once you actually do the math. He said, let you be with wisdom calculated. Now, once you actually do the calculation, 4%. There was a man known as Mr. 4%. I encourage you to look up everything I'm saying. The man that's known as Mr. 4%, who they named at the economic term after, it's called St. Nicholas. He's called St. Nicholas. And guess who else sees you when you're sleeping and knows when you're awake? He knows when you've been kind of So be good. Well, I mean, come on now. Seriously? He took on the qualities of the Most High? Are you serious? And that's what they worship. When they celebrate this Christmas, which isn't even celebrated on Jesus' real birthday. Oh, we know that. You know what I mean? How can he be the Lion of Judah born in December? Yes, it don't make sense. That's the Son God works. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? It's deeper than what meets the eye. You know what I mean? We actually, we actually calculate the number. Do six races, six power races, six power. Because then after all, we're dealing with powers. You ever knew Guy Hill? Huh? You ever knew Guy Hill? Uh, I'm down. He's right. Guy Hill. Oh, uh, one of my brothers used to uh, be out here teaching with us. He used to just start. Are you getting approached? You'll see the 16 down there. Six minutes. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Oh, hey, hey, you see out here from next time. Lord willing, we'll be out here next time. For sure. I'm Rick on the floor. I just got on the bus. Yeah, you got a slow chip away. Good song. Long soon. That's a Jake for you, pretty much. If you want to get like, describe it, this is like one sentence, crazy hey. as hell. Hey. Hey. I don't know. Hey. 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 These are the people that's in need of the Yeah, I, I was about to read that one scripture though, because uh, I was going, you do brought out a point, but like we said, the Lord loves and hates. It's a balance, you know what I mean? It's a balance. I know that was in Luke 17. Let me read this for you. Go ahead. This is a Shalom 39. 24 asks, His ways are plain 
blocks to the hate. So are they stumbling blocks to the quick. And the good are good things created from the beginning. So he that's like that. things for sinners. Now that wasn't it, man. Because I got one for you real quick. Luke 17 and uh, I'll just start at one. Then said he unto the disciples, it is impossible. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. I'll go, go ahead and read it. I'll get back to this later. Okay, this is a third of three and uh, 14. Good is sin against evil and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. So look upon all the works of the Most High, the Howell, and there are two and two, one against another. All right, everything's two and two. That's how the universe works, man. The whole universe operates on the principle, you know, the duality. You got hot and cold, up and down, left and right, you know what I'm saying? Male, female, there's no third sex. They're trying to make one, but there's not. You know what I mean? Uh, male and female, positive and negative. But all your computers run on the 